Hello, and welcome to the third of six video presentations designed to acquaint you with the third edition of the CQI-12 Coding System Assessment. These videos will familiarize you with the document layout and the overall process, train you on how to complete each section, and provide insight into the exact expectations for completion of the assessment. The AIAG Continuous Quality Improvement, or CQI-12 assessment, was developed as a self-assessment to help automotive suppliers develop a planning management system to meet the coding industry's best practices. A team of process experts, including chemical suppliers, industry consultants, applicators, and automotive OEMs contributed to the development of this document. Section 3, Pyrometry, is a new addition to the assessment. It aligns with the CQI-9 heat treat system assessment requirements, but has been tailored for coding applications. This section provides detailed guidance for management of thermal control systems and should be used for all temperature controlled operations, including process tanks and ovens. Unlike the other sections, Section 3 does not require inputs. However, it does provide guidance for reporting information in the process tables as related to temperature measurement and control. It is divided into four subsections, thermocouples, instrumentation, system accuracy tests, and temperature uniformity surveys. Section 3.1 identifies types of thermocouples, common applications, calibration frequencies, and replacement frequencies. Considerations are made based on the type of thermocouple, which can be expendable or non-expendable base metals. Requirements differ based on the intended use so that more critical operations are more tightly controlled. Section 3.2 addresses instrumentation, which includes the controllers, monitoring, and recording gauges. It provides allowable offset values, stipulates calibration requirements, and defines reporting criteria. Refer to the table shown for an example. Section 3.3 covers the system accuracy test, which verifies the full thermal management system, including the instrument, lead wire, and thermocouple. The SAT is commonly performed internally for process monitoring. It defines the minimum information required to document the testing conditions and results. Each process table defines allowable SAT differences applicable for the specific process step. Section 3.4 describes the use of a temperature uniformity survey to identify qualified work zones. Thermocouples are placed strategically throughout the work zone to validate the uniformity of the temperature. Surveys must be performed after any equipment modification, maintenance, or repair that may alter the temperature characteristics prior to use. These assessments are necessary for conformance testing and may be conducted internally or outsourced. This section provides the testing conditions and defines the pass-fail and reporting requirements. In summary, Section 3 defines necessary equipment and provides detailed guidance for testing, controlling, and monitoring the thermal processes and equipment. It outlines equipment calibration frequency and replacement intervals. Calibration and process certification may be conducted internally or outsourced. Requirements in monitoring frequency are reported in each process table following the conditions described in Section 3. Join us for Video 4 for a description of the job audit process. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, contact quality at AIAG.org. And don't forget to check out the other videos in this series.